Hello, my name is John Nakane. I'm an assistant professor of teaching in the uh, Faculty of Applied Science. I'm also the program director for the Integrated Engineering Program. Um, I'd like to spend the next few minutes just telling you a little bit about our program, the uh, iGen, um, and uh, how it fits in with the rest of the engineering programs, and things that uh, might be of interest for you as you explore uh, the faculty, the university, and the opportunities uh, that await you as well. Here in Integrated Engineering, we offer a multidisciplinary uh, approach to our undergraduate education and with a focus on project uh, management experiences, design experiences on open-ended projects uh, throughout a student's uh, degree, and the ability to customize the, those uh, courses and uh, opportunities to try to fit uh, with different uh, student um, expectations and hopes. So what can you expect to do during your undergraduate degree? Um, for integrated engineering, it means uh, a fair chunk of time devoted to self-directed project work. And this is reflected in um, three open-ended projects, uh, courses that we have in our core, um, starting from year two. Uh, so after a year of uh, general engineering that all our students have in first year, um, we, we put our students uh, in iGen directly into um, being able to pitch projects, being able to identify opportunities, and to be able to work on them in groups uh, that have common interests, that have differing interests, and to see uh, where those different um, opportunities will take them. Uh, we also take a selection of core uh, courses uh, and technical electives from all of the other engineering disciplines as well. So our students will line up and take classes along with the students in other programs like Chibi, EngPhys, Mining, Materials, Electrical, Mechanical, Civil. Um, all of those things are really quite um, an experience for our students to try um, to wear different hats and, and, and learn from their uh, colleagues from other departments uh, and to bring that back home in terms of trying to apply that those experiences to the, the projects that they have. Uh, one other mark uh, for our program is that we do have uh, a heart for uh, sort of an entrepreneurial mindset. It doesn't mean that every student in our program is um, uh, directed to and has a heart for starting um, their own companies and, and opportunities, uh, but that kind of um, um, mindset of being able to look for opportunities to find them, um, even if you're not the person who starts companies, if you are working inside of a company and are just someone who finds these places and and and, and puts a highlight on them and, and builds teams around those, uh, I think that's a great skill set to have. And so part of our core is to have students all experience that as part of um, um, our core experience uh, going through. Um, our technical electives, uh, we do have uh, give students the chance to choose uh, areas that they would like to specialize in. Um, and so we also ask them to uh, pick out multiple areas. So uh, being able to combine interests across different engineering disciplines and to hyper focus those on a selection of two or three or four uh, uh, identified classes in those disciplines. I think that that's something that gets our students uh, pretty excited as well, to be able to make sure that they get um, and target and combine uh, the experiences that they see uh, working out for them for their undergrad experience and the kind of things that they want, would like to pursue after they're finished with their undergrad degrees as well. Um, so what can you expect from the, the student experience uh, going through? Um, so our students do like to contribute uh, across the spectrum for uh, different kinds of teams, clubs, uh, and interests that they have. So we have an awfully strong participation in student teams uh, across the, the faculty. Um, here in UBC Applied Science in Engineering, um, we have a heart for all sorts of uh, competition teams and and. Um, hopefully you get a chance to, to experience some of that and get a feel for that by, by meeting the students and finding out what teams exactly they're involved with. Um, here in iGen, we also have access to a fantastic workshop and fabrication tools for the kinds of projects that help support those opportunities. And we also have um, um, uh, students uh, joining into iGen who are joining a program where there is this, this uh, desire to work on self-directed projects. And what I mean by that is ones that uh, students will find opportunities for themselves, will be able to evaluate whether or not these opportunities are, are appropriate and valid, um, and, and maybe underserviced uh, when it comes to the things that they would like to have impact on as well. And gaining experience working on these projects, working across multiple disciplines, and the ability to specialize in exactly the kind of um, projects and courses um, that they would like to. That's one of the, the, 
the nice things about um, having students uh, go through an experience like this. Uh, now, what kind of career opportunities, what kind of things do people do after they get their iGen degree? Um, I'll give you a, 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 a few examples of where some recent alumni uh, have ended up. So here's a selection of uh, four that are relatively recent. Uh, we've got uh, people who have graduated who are over uh, doing graduate studies. So some of them are uh, local, some of, like, uh, as in the case of Tanya. Um, who's doing her PhD in biomedical engineering here at UBC. Uh, Melvin graduated earlier in 2021, uh, and he's over in Europe now, uh, pursuing an electrical engineering master's uh, degree with a uh, focus on sort of some quantum computing, quantum physics uh, related things. Um, we also have people who are interested in um, uh, and have started up uh, companies as well. So uh, Dolma Sindhu, who's um, uh, also graduated uh, this past uh, spring, she is the CEO and founder of a company called Flutter Care, and that's a group that's interested in trying to, to offer assistance for uh, individuals who are um, in various stages of pregnancy. And so being able to monitor uh, the condition, to monitor the health, to monitor the flutters, uh, to make sure that the, that the prenatal health is uh, well taken care of. And people like Siddharth uh, as well, who are interested in, in consulting and being able to look for opportunities locally, uh, and in his case, uh, being able to, to get experiences over uh, in, in Europe as well for his grad studies. Um, and, and places like Tesla, uh, where um, the sort of interdisciplinary um, backgrounds that our students will have are attractive for for companies like that as well. So all sorts of recent grads working down there and kind of a nice little pipeline of people getting those kinds of experiences. Um, so um, where else do they go? A little bit of everywhere. So up on the screen right now, we're just scrolling through some of the recent uh, examples of where people have, have gone to work for co-op, have gone to work for um, after they've graduated, the kinds of work that they end up doing, uh, of overlap of biomedically related things, um, traveling to far off places, um, managing all sorts of uh, infrastructure projects, R&D work, uh, being able to work at, in machine learning and artificial intelligence, big big projects like the Site CDM here in BC. Um, you never quite know where you're going to end up and you never quite know uh, where your classmates will end up. So to be able to have a, a, in a group that we have, uh, to, to, to go through that is, is again, quite a, an experience for our students and something that I think they appreciate as well, the variety of uh, opportunities that people will have. And so where, where does iGen kind of fit in? I, th I think uh, some people come in with the perspective that um, having the ability to have this uh, uh, responsibility for your degree, the customization, the, the ability to feel like you have uh, some element of uh, control over the direction of the studies and the projects that you have. Some people do find that uh, to be really compelling. Um, so if you want to know more, uh, please uh, uh, get in contact with uh, some of us in the program, students in the program. I think there's no one else who gives a better perspective on what it's like than the, the iGens themselves. You, you, don't, you don't really know iGen until you get to know an iGen. A particular one. So, so I hope this gives you a little bit of a flavor for for what our program is about. I hope that you enjoy the uh, rest of the uh, chance to learn about other programs here at UBC, uh, and I look forward, to, if you're interested, uh, to follow up and uh, offer more information about uh, integrated engineering here at the University of British Columbia. Thank you.